People with diabetes can have an eye disease called diabetic retinopathy. This is when high blood sugar levels cause damage to blood vessels in the retina. You might be referred to an ophthalmologist by your physician or an ophthalmologist might be the first one to diagnose your previously undiagnosed diabetes. Anyone with type 1 or type 2 diabetes is potentially at risk of developing a diabetic retinopathy. But there are various factors such as obesity, lack of physical activities, family history of diabetes, and age of more than 45 which puts you specifically at a greater risk. The retina requires a continuous flow of blood which it receives from a complex network of small vessels. Over time, a persistently high blood sugar level can damage these blood vessels which cause release of different chemicals and can give rise to diabetic retinopathy. Due to these damages and the loss of the special cells present in the blood vessels, tiny bulges start developing. They are usually harmless and don't affect your vision. But if the damaging factors persist, these bulges can leak, making the retina swell. When the macula swells, it is called the macular edema, and this is the most common reason why people with diabetes lose their vision. If there is a swelling affecting the center of your retina, injections called the anti-VEGF may be advised. These can help stop the problems in your eyes from getting worse and may also lead to an improvement of vision. These injections are usually given once a month to begin with. Once your vision starts to stabilize, they will be stopped or given less frequently. A good glycemic and blood pressure control with change in lifestyle can help prevent these events from rebounding in majority of the cases and hence may help in decreasing the requirement of further injections. However, if the blood sugar is not controlled, the disease progresses further, this time closing down the blood vessels. When that happens, the blood cannot reach the vital parts of the retina, and if this occurs extensively over a large area of retina, abnormal new blood vessels start growing, and this is called the neovascularization. These vessels are often very fragile and bleed easily. By the time your eyes would have reached this stage, a lot of damage would have already occurred, and lots of nerves in the retina would have already died. If your eyes reveal this stage, you will be likely be advised for an injection or a laser treatment. Treatment can help stabilize the changes in your eyes caused by your diabetes and stop your vision from getting any worse. It is, however, important to understand that this treatment won't usually improve your sight. These new blood vessels, if left untreated, can rupture and cause vitreous hemorrhage or can contract, causing a retinal detachment. Surgery called vitrectomy may be advised at this stage, usually if there is such scar tissues or if there is a large collection of blood in your eye. It usually takes several years for diabetic retinopathy to reach a stage where it could threaten your vision. It must also be understood that while we can easily visualize the changes occurring in the eye, similar changes are also occurring in all of the other vital organs, which can lead to stroke, kidney failure, heart attack or non-healing ulcers. By keeping your blood sugar, blood pressure and cholesterol levels under control, you can reduce your chances of developing a diabetic retinopathy. To prevent diabetic retinopathy from affecting your vision, please kindly get your eyes checked as per the schedule recommended by your physician or your ophthalmologist. Always remember, prevention is better than cure.